Autism wasn't a world that I gracefully entered. Our family adjusting was absolutely isolating. We were facing this unknown road to go down. When you receive the diagnosis, a parent feels lost and you're not really sure where to turn. You really need to find concrete information that is built upon the research and scientific data to help guide you into a path that you know is going to be helpful. The mission of the Super Autism Center is to improve treatment for autism, and we do that through research. The Seaver Center offers hope for finding what is underlying the brain changes that lead to such profound behavioral changes. Understanding what those genetics mean will lead us to a new horizon, a new vision of what we can do to change the outcome in autism. It was a good partnership to bring the two organizations together. The partnership between the Seaver Autism Center and the Els for Autism Foundation is broadening the pool of participants that will engage in genetic research to help us to become more proficient in understanding the nature and causality of autism. The key to our success and the key to genetic discovery is being able to recruit more and more families to participate in research. And really, each family actually holds an individual key to moving the whole field forward, potentially. When I heard about genetic testing, I honestly thought, I wonder if this could give me the peace of mind to know that Tessa had the correct diagnosis, because our journey with her has been this constant battle of, is it autism, is it not? And then when I found out that they could test the whole family, I thought, well, this could help for the future. The Ailes Center of Excellence was created to support families of children with autism and offers the framework to conduct research in a safe environment for the families. My work in autism is focused on gene discovery. Autism is clearly a genetic disorder, and if we can find the genes that contribute to autism, this will lead to improved medicines and medical treatments. Over the past 20 years, the resolution of our genetic analyses has improved dramatically. Now the genetic testing is so refined that we can see on a much, much deeper level changes in the genetic code. My lab collects samples all over the world. We have 35,000 DNA samples. We have recently completed a study that identifies over 100 autism genes. Each of those genes is a way to understand the biology of autism and to develop new treatments. Sometimes the results aren't immediate. If we don't find something today, we may find something tomorrow or a year from now. After seeing Dr. Cobbleson for two years, he was able to tell us that Eliza had Felix McDermott syndrome. At that point, it was, I think, a sense of relief. I don't think that we ever thought that we would get that answer, but we, we got an answer to the reason she is who she is. I think that genetic testing for kids with autism will be a game changer because it opens doors to so much more than just development. For some children who actually get a genetic diagnosis, I think their path can change. Finding exactly the reason behind their disability kind of guides you to what kind of school they need, what type of intervention they'll need, and to be part of the research is super helpful to other children in the future. We can actually help families understand their risk for another child or grandchild with autism. Many families feel very responsible for what happened and they don't realize that these are random genetic mutations. And when they do, it changes their relationship to the disorder. Our family's journey is all about getting answers for our children. One day there will be answers and research will get us there. When I hear that there's a study been done on kids with autism, I just know in my heart that that was my boy and Tanner was part of that and we're so proud of him because this is a big picture moment. We're so grateful for the opportunity that the opportunity even exists in the first place.